you can <clears throat> see clearly that although you don't like to make compromises, there's many different modes, many different conflicting terms to, to kind of find the right position. When we made the transition from displacement of boats that were floating to, to boats that were foiling and flying, the design team uh, configurations changed as well, because back in the day, you know, full of naval architects and structure engineers, but uh, slowly the design teams, the configuration changed, and now 80% is more uh, aeronautical engineers. So the boat is 80% airplane, 20% boat. The principles that guide aircraft uh, design, position of center of gravity, relative position of the wings, size of the wings, aspect ratio, it's pretty much the same we do here. So also we have, we have these wings which operate in, in water, uh, but also the sails are wings in itself. So we have vertical wings and we have horizontal wings and they all control surfaces that we need to move to adjust to uh, maximize the performance. You know, 20 years ago, flying at Mach 7577 7, 7 was good. You know, the last decade, sort of 0.885, and now we're in the sort of good ranges at, at 9.0. A little while back, to clear the way for the Globe 8000, we, had a, we did a supersonic flight. We did a flight beyond Mach 1. The wing design in itself had a lot of features in built to kind of show that split ailerons because there's all sorts of things that, that happen in terms of things like reversals and stuff that you have to make sure you manage for. Now, if I look at your folder, like, is there like a 50 knot squall? Is there something where it starts to get interesting yeah. and you get cavitation or? Oh, I, I, <laughs> you can go see smiles. No, well, <laughs> we have our own speed of sound, which is cavitation speed. Yeah. Uh, uh, if we want to perform under cavitation speed, we cannot perform over cavitation yeah. speed. So it's one of the big compromises <laughs> we have to. Yeah. Because uh, these boats got, get to cavitation very early and uh, in the past you <coughs> needed you know, 20 knots of, yeah. <laughs> of, of, of uh, wind speed to get there. Now we get there very early because the boats are really fast. So yeah, it's a good, good discussion. We we'll go for months. Mm. Just going for months. <laughs> uh, and the methods and models we have to predict cavitation are extremely accurate. Yeah. But what we need to work on is the compromise we were talking about, you know. Well, yeah. I, I, I guess, as you said, this modern generation of foilers get to that speed. Like, I think yeah. it's pretty impactful. Three years ago, thinking about 50 knots was, well, you couldn't even think of a boat creeping it, it, you know, so Now you're going 50 knots, so yeah. it's very fast. And if you don't have cavitation, you're not pushing enough. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a bit like a lot of things, yeah. which is it's about finding the right, yeah. the, the right boundary. The, the actual sail itself looks very, uh, very impressive. The sails are like Morphe wings. That's the beauty of the soft sails. So you can change camber on the oh, Yeah, we change camber, we change drag, nice. we change angle of attack. So <laughs> we can do pretty much anything. And as you go through the speed range, you go from very full sails to super flat sails. And uh, so then we have our software, uh, you know, fluid structure interaction softwares where we put the, the structure in the sails so they behave. So they behave. And then because they need to have a huge range. All the components are designed to the minimum safety factors. Minimum, minimum. That's why we go out, we break things, we return, we beef up a bit of components. It, it's a little bit like cavitation, you know. We need to have cavitation to make sure we are pushing. We need to be just reliable enough. <laughs> it, it, <laughs> you know? It's not like you have a 20 or 30 year life cycle. Of, no, of the no, and there's short races, you know, but yeah. You know, us here, it's been educational. I, I look at some of the work that we're doing in our next generation of aircraft, the Ecojet, which is a blended wing body mm. configuration. Yeah. And I look at the shape, particularly of the underside of, you yeah. know, of your foiler, and, and it's kind of, of a step change and makes us learn maybe some of the stuff that's not in the books or, or behave. Yeah. But you know what, thank you for hosting us. I will let you get back to the important event and no, wishes. Thank you. Much luck and safe sailing. Yeah, no, thank you for coming. Pleasure. It's been thank a great you. chat and yeah. Thanks, <laughs> thanks for, for supporting us. Absolutely pleasure. We support.